This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. 26 Water Tribe Animals A vast range of fauna inhabit the world, ranging over virtually every landscape as well as the oceans and skies. Most of the animals presented are hybrids of two real-world animals. Sometimes this hybridization is explicit, at other times more subtle. There are certain exceptions though, such as Quay's pet bear Bosco, the herbalist's cat Miyuki, or the messenger hawk. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over 26 water tribe animals. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number one, polar bear dog. The polar bear dog is a large, white-furred animal that was historically feared and hunted by members of the water tribe. The polar bear dog's front legs are stocky and muscular in contrast to its more slender hind legs. It's covered in a thick white fur coat, which helps it stay warm in the harsh climates of its natural arctic habitat. The polar bear dog has a long tail and an elongated snout with a black nose and large bear-like teeth. Its face is framed by two floppy ears and black eyes. Polar bear dogs are extremely strong creatures and can break through metal using their front paws. Number 2. Arctic Hippo The Arctic Hippo is a mammal that lives in the South Pole and is hunted for its blubber. Number 3. Arctic Seal The Arctic Seal is a swimming mammal native to the South Pole. Number 4. Turtle Seal The Turtle Seal is an animal that lives in underground ice caverns and on icebergs near the North Pole. In the late 4th century BG, a group of turtle seals was resting on an iceberg near the North Pole that was visited by Jean Ju during his search for Avatar Kuruk's successor. During the Siege of the North, a group of turtle seals were navigating a system of water tunnels below the northern water tribe capital. Prince Zuko observed as they came up from the icy water for air, before diving back in through a hole near the base of a wall. Zuko also went into the tunnel in an attempt to find an entrance into the city. When he emerged from the water at a cavern, several turtle seals were barking loudly. They momentarily ceased making noises when the annoyed prince ordered them to be quiet, but began barking again as he pushed past the group. A turtle seal followed Aang and Ba Sing Se as he was leading all the zoo creatures to their new home in the agrarian zone. Number 5. Cuttlefish The cuttlefish is used to make paint that is applied for ceremonial markings. Number 6. Dolphin Piranha a marine animal capable of eating humans. Number 7. Koala Otter The koala otter is a furry, aquatic mammal native to the Arctic waters surrounding the North Pole. This creature has rounded, furry ears, a black nose, and small black eyes. It also has four legs and a flat, wide tail. The koala otter's back and head are light gray, while its underbelly is a creamy white. Number 8. Octopus Cephalopod that lives in the sea that's seriously, that's, that's all the script says. Cephalopod that lives in the sea. Number nine, otter penguin. The otter penguin, or simply penguin, is an animal native to the water tribes. After being released from the iceberg, Aang's first request was to go penguin sledding with Katara, which she confusedly accepted. Later, upon seeing an otter penguin, a fascinated Aang immediately chased after it. Katara found him attempting to catch the animals with little success. With Katara's help, he used fish to bait the penguins, and after being nearly trampled by the hungry creatures, managed to catch one on which he could go sledding. Katara caught a penguin for herself and joined Aang. As the two reached the end of the slope, their otter penguins tottered back up to the rest of the colony. Aang later rode an otter penguin while returning to the southern water tribe village after being banished in order to save the residents from Zuko. When Katara and Sokka returned to the southern water tribe in 102 AG for the first time after the conclusion of the Hundred Year War, Katara spotted several young children sledding down a hill on otter penguins. Reminiscing about the day she first met Aang, she invited her brother to take an otter penguin and sled down the hill with her. Sokka complied, though he regretted his choice once he flew through the snow at high speeds and collided with a wooden beam at the bottom of the slope. As he sat in the snow, dazed due to the crash, his otter penguin happily waddled back to its group. Otter penguins were employed by Waki Wushu as performing animals for the Glacier Spirits Festival in 171 AG. Number 10. Penguin fish. Gray fish with pink fins. It has a large eye in between its gills and mouth. Number 11, puffin seal. Hybrid animal whose meat is, is made into sausages.
Uh, that, seriously, that's all this magnificent creature is good for. Sokka's lunch. Number 12, tiger seal. The tiger seal, also known as the zebra seal or the polar sea lion, is an animal that lives in the icy bays of the South Pole. When Aang was released from the iceberg, a beam of light shot up into the sky, waking several tiger seals who started to howl in unison. Number 13, tiger shark. A powerful animal that is a cross between a tiger and a shark. And that's it. Number 14, whale walrus. Creature whose blubber is used to make lamp oil. Let's at least look at its picture for a while and give it a moment of silence. Number 15, Arctic Camel. The Arctic Camel, also known as the Camel Yak, is a thick-furred, dual-humped animal utilized by the people of the Southern Water Tribe as a beast of burden. They are strong, resilient to the cold, and can be ridden through rough, snowy terrain. Unalak and Korra met at the Arctic Camel stalls for the beginning of their training together in the ways of the spirits. Later that day, the two were joined by Mako, Bolin, Tanrak, Desna, and Eska, and while they gathered to take a trip, Unalak and Mako rode on Arctic camels. The Northern military also used these animals. Number 16, Arctic Hen. An Arctic bird bred for its meat in the Southern Water Tribe. Tastes similar to the possum chicken. I should probably clarify, I didn't ad-lib that one. Um, they actually figured that out when they visited the Foggy Swamp Tribe. Number 17, Buffalo Yak. The buffalo yak is a large creature utilized by the Northern Water Tribe as one of their main forms of transportation and to carry supplies. In 100 AG, a citizen of the Northern Water Tribe riding a buffalo yak watched intently at the arrival of Team Avatar to the capital city. During their stay here, Appa rested in a stable that was home to a multitude of buffalo yaks, all of which were in individual neighboring pens. In 151 AG, buffalo yaks were used extensively by the armies of the Northern Water Tribe during the barbarian invasion. The availability of the animals as a form of transportation enabled Unalak to warn his brother Tanrak of an impending attack, and during the ensuing battle, the buffalo yak's speed and height coupled with the warrior's waterbending effectively squashed the invasion and drove the barbarians out of the city. The force subsequently employed the buffalo yaks in chasing the barbarians in the sacred spiritual forest, where they captured all the remaining invaders. Number 18. Mink Snake. Lives in the... <laughs> lives in the South Pole, known to bite humans. Yeah. You know, don't even show a picture of the mink snake. It doesn't deserve it. Number 19, polar bear. Non-hybridized Arctic creature native to the Southern Water Tribe. Its bones are used in crafting weapons and pelts for carpets. Number 20, polar dog. The polar dog is an animal domesticated by the tribesmen of the Southern Water Tribe and kept as a pet. This creature is the size of a large dog. It has blue eyes, a pink or reddish nose, rounded ears, and three-toed paws. Its fur is predominantly white, aside from a single black stripe pattern that begins at the nose and runs over the animal's forehead before trailing along its back. The polar dog's thick fur allows it to adapt to cold temperatures, which is crucial considering the habitat in which it has been domesticated. Number 21, the polar leopard. White leopard that preys on turtle seals. It's used for clothing in the Southern Water Tribe. Number 22, Snow Leopard Caribou. The Snow Leopard Caribou is a large feline used primarily as a mount by warriors in the Southern Water Tribe. The Snow Leopard Caribou is characterized by a relatively stocky build, thick white fur, and short ears, all of which are adaptations that minimize heat loss and make the Snow Leopard Caribou well-suited for living in the tundras of the South Pole. Throughout its body, the coat is dotted by semi-large black open rosettes while the face is covered by smaller black spots. In addition, the snow leopard caribou has a short muscle and domed forehead, allowing it to adequately breathe the thin cold air characteristic of polar regions. Snow leopard caribou also have two large brown antlers and wide feet bearing crescent-shaped cloven hooves that aid travel in deep snow. Like other cervids, snow leopard caribou have short blunt tails. As with all other big cats, Snow leopard caribou have sharpened canines and a dental formula consistent with that of other obligate carnivores. Number 23, Snow Rat. A snow rat is a rodent-like creature native to the South Pole, a character in local folk tales. Number 24, White Hamster. The white hamster is a small, quadrupedal mammal, 
A group of these creatures occupied an abandoned Fire Navy ship in the Southern Water Tribe. The white hamster is small and covered in a coat of white fur that keeps it insulated in the Arctic climate. The hamster has a fluffy tail roughly as long as its body and an ovoid head with small pointed ears. Number 25, Wolf. The wolf is an animal that inhabits the polar regions of the world as well as some areas of the Earth Kingdom, particularly in rural regions, secluded from human settlement. In early 100 AG, while traveling through the woods of the northwestern Earth Kingdom, Katara, Sokka, and Bato heard the howl of a wolf. Katara commented that the animal sounded sad, to which Sokka replied that it was likely wounded. Bato informed the siblings that it had been separated from the pack, and he understood that pain as he endured it when the rest of the Water Tribe warriors were forced to leave him behind. Sometime after 133 AG, in his quest for revenge against Republic City, Yakon began to teach his sons, Tarlok and Noatok, the illegal art of bloodbending, forcing them to perform the technique on a pack of wolves. Tarlok resented the practice of bloodbending upon realizing that it caused the creature's pain, whereas his brother, Noatok, did not feel the same empathy. Noatok bloodbent the wolves with ease, even dragging them to the ground and forcing them to stand on their hind legs and bow. So we can do a whole paragraph on wolves, but puffin seals are sausage, okay? And number 26, yak. The yak is an ungulate that inhabits the cold, desolate, and open terrain of the North Pole. As a young boy, Noatok used bloodbending on one of these animals as part of his instruction in the art by his father, Yakon. He did so with ease and ignored the bellows of pain from the animal he was controlling. After being released from Noatok's hold, the creature fell to the ground before fleeing with the rest of its herd. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Seriously, who wrote this one?